to Mostly Green. I'm Nate. Thanks for uh, checking out my channel. So today I'm just going to get a mow in on my front lawn. And uh, the, a few days ago, I guess it's been about four, four or five days now, I sprayed down Tenacity. And I don't know how well you can see it, but I'll put, up, put some close-up pictures in of what the uh, results were. And I'm pretty happy with it. This was the second application of Tenacity in this area trying to suppress some poa annua and dallas grass and it has done that uh, so i'm very uh, very happy with that you know it, it's not hasn't shown very good promise doing that but in this case it uh, worked out pretty well for me so i'm real happy with that but i'm going to get a mow going on this uh, real quick and then i got some work to do on the renovation area just got my soil test uh, back i guess it was last night and I'll put a pick of that up somewhere around here, I don't know, somewhere. Um, and, and it's a little worse than I expected. Um, the only thing I'm really concerned with is the pH level, which is extremely low. So I'm gonna have to do some work on that. I've already added some starter fertilizer uh, prior to seeding, some humic acid and some other stuff. I'm gonna get started on my mow and then we'll get some lime down on the renovation area so stay tuned we'll be back in just a minute so i just finished my mow on this and you know sometimes my wife will say what took you so long what are you doing out there for so long you know cutting grass well number one i just like to enjoy the mow i just like to be out here i love cutting my lawn uh, it's relaxing it's therapeutic think about nothing else but making straight lines and and just uh, being out here number two is that I like to look at what I'm doing I like to look and see what's going on in the grass it gives me a chance to walk slowly over the entire lawn and see what I have going on as I mentioned before I put down mesotrione tenacity and initially it kicked in real hard because we had a lot of Sun and uh, it, it was doing its job however I'm sure some of you guys know that tenacity is not the be-all end-all to weed control it's got a fairly limited scope of weeds that it kills or or controls or suppresses overall there are better options out there the reason that I went with tenacity on this even considering that the weeds that I'm trying to treat are not on the list that mesotrione controls I did get suppression, I did get some weed control out of this, but there are a lot more weeds in this lawn that I need to treat. A lot of times, uh, something like 2,4-D, dicamba, clinclorac, sulfentrazone is a better option. The reason that I didn't go that route is because I didn't know what was gonna happen uh, with, the, with these areas. If I had to burn them out with glyphosate, I wanted to be able to reseed right away. With glyphosate, it's a four, to seven days before you can reseed. Actually, it's three days if you really want to go crazy. With tenacity, you can seed immediately after, during, you know, whatever. So that's why I went with tenacity. Uh, it gives me a short window to reseed. I'll be doing a full video on the mechanism of action, mode of action, some a lot of information about mesotrione coming up in the very near future. So keep an eye out for that. Now it's time to get to work on some other projects. I'm going to be throwing down some lime on the renovation area and I'm going to get that going in just a few minutes. So, Okay, so I wrapped up yesterday with a lot of projects completed. I managed to cut the front lawn. I got my application of lime down on this area. And the pH was extremely low. It tested out at a 5.3. I also got a cut on this area, my tall fescue, which is actually looking pretty good and I'm not a fan of tall fescue at all. Uh, also trimmed back some ornamental grasses that are starting to grow. I did a short cut on my uh, perennial ryegrass over on the other side uh, with the real mower. So what I found out from my wife last night is that tomorrow I will be rototilling all that up and we're going to plant grass there. I'm not worried about it. I'm not real concerned about it. The whole area it has tons of weeds in it, brown spots, dead spots, empty spots, dirt spots. And uh, that'll be about it. So, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in to Mostly Green. If you like my content, like, 
comment and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them below. Also, there are a few, uh, few of the products that I use on a regular basis that I'm very happy with. Uh, the simple lawn solution stuff. My lawn looks the way it does because of that. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video. Have a great weekend and happy Easter.